the bases in themselves aren't overly interesting. Uh, and so when just kind of asked about, you know, do you want to talk about scalability and things, that kind of faced with the choice of, of talking about sharding and replication and partitioning and things, which may not have kept you too interested. So uh, instead, we thought we'd take a slightly different point. It was talk about um, how we work with Facebook to help them scale, and not really about their architecture or anything dull like that, um, although we'll happily talk about that if you're interested later, but um, uh, specifically about the kind of challenges they face in terms of scalability. So um, <coughs> Josh had mentioned earlier on, they just hit the 150 million uh, active user mark, and that's very much the kind of theme of this presentation. So what do they do? So. Um, Top 20 websites, according to Alexa, I know a lot of people debate whether Alexa is a good measurement of whether their, um, their website popularity or traffic. But um, of those, how many do you reckon use MySQL? Mm -hmm. Anyone want to guess? I'm going to ask you quite a lot of questions, actually, so you better get used to doing it. Seven. Seven. Any advance on that? I'll give you a clue. Three are Microsoft, right? So you know it's not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. So, of them, uh, it's all but four. So, 16. 14 was pretty close. And of the, as you say, three are Microsoft, so they obviously don't use our technology. Um, uh, High Five, for those that, you know, social networking site, mainly popular in the US, it's based on Postgres. MySpace uses combinations of MySQL and other bits, which is why it's in, in yellow. Um, so, that's a pretty good advert for us in terms of online connectivity. People use our stuff for lots of different reasons, and I won't necessarily go into it um, uh, why. But it means that most of these are big, high-traffic <coughs> sites. So when people come and ask us, right, we're using your technology, using your technology, you know, the mantra is very much we fail fast or we have to scale fast. If we're successful, we have to scale very, very quickly. And so we tend to get pulled into those, oh my god, our server's about to blow up, we've got smoke coming out of it. How do we suddenly go from whatever it is, a million users, add a million users a, a, a day? Um, and that's where we tend to get involved. So um, about scaling, how do we get very large? So Facebook users, this, by the way, this data, and it differs slightly, you'll, you'll see where it differs slightly. The data for this came uh, in November, which is the last time we had in-depth and dirty conversation with Facebook, mainly about them paying us more money, but that's where we, <laughs> where we got the data from. So um, in terms of active users, right, uh, it's not 150 million. When we took this snapshot, it was about 130 million. But uh, registered users, you want to guess? It's just now it's, it's just close to 200 million, but it's about 175 million as of no, uh, November last year. So, which is pretty impressive. There's quite a lot of people on there. Um, how many do you think they add a week? I thought you'd know the answer to a lot of these because you're all Facebook nutters. 25,000 a week? A million, million, that's closer. It's about four million a week. Oh. I mean, it varies, right? Of course, that's probably, that's probably a peak. <coughs> but that's pretty significant, right? And so it means that there's a lot of anxious people inside Facebook making sure that, you know, it, I know it's, when we talk about it, some of our enterprise customers laugh because they go, Facebook's not a good example to give because they see it, you know, sometimes connectivity problems and, and what have you. Twitter is another one, right? It's another big user of MySQL, right? Which is one we tend not to blag about because people <laughs> tend to know about Twitter going down. So, um, so, but, so Facebook users, pretty impressive. And most, um, uh, you know, nice problem to have if you're looking at scaling at, at, at that level. So views and images. What would you consider a large number of user page views? 5,000 per second. 4 million a day, I don't know actually, I'd have to do the maths and work that out. And I'm not that clever to do it that quickly. Um, so in user views per second, right, it's about 50,000. Okay. <laughs> well, you can help me with the next one then. <laughs> you can kind of work this out, right? So if you look at every Facebook page, how many images do you think that, that contains on it? Less than that, because it's, of course, an average. So it's about five. <coughs> but again, that's pretty heavy, right, on a server. So then largely, this is the, this is the one that, that kind of completely knocked my socks off when I saw it. Um, the total number of pictures. Trillion. Trillion. No, 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 that's, that's a good guess, but wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyone guess, guess at that? A billion, a billion, a billion a month. A billion, no? Oh, they're not far off. It's 26 billion. Right. But it's, I mean, for us, as, as MySQL, it's great because often we get um, told by seasoned Oracle DBA saying, oh, the problem is MySQL is not good for large amounts of data or it's not good for, for, for you know, high throughput transactions. Uh, and then we show them numbers like this and they just cough and splatter. But we go talk finally, uh, oh, not finally, Facebook apps. Um, you probably know the answer to this. Yes, yeah, sorry, is that a question? What, what amount of that top 20 are you using your free version or using your more expensive versions? You guys, oh, I, have to, I have to try and step back through it all. Is it number one? Um, so, scale down. Yeah, um, so I suppose the answer is all of them use combinations of both. So when you're Facebook or Yahoo or Google, they don't take our product as is and then pay us for maintenance support. We tend to have different <laughs> agreements for us um, because they do weird and wonderful and rude things to our technology. So um, with Yahoo and Google, we have engineering agreements. That means that they do stuff, we check it over, then we agree to support it. But they're not buying our paid product in the traditional sense. Uh, Facebook, uh, they actually use our... They use a standard or it's slightly modified and they have their own kind of storage engine yeah. tweaks. We, we closed the deal with them uh, two years ago and they renewed it. So. Last month. Yeah. So um, uh, Wikipedia, as you could probably guess, don't pay us anything. Um, <coughs> but they, they have a pretty, pretty big you know, setup, as you can the imagine. Interesting, sorry, sorry. The interesting point is that apart from eBay, all these names, they started with the community edition. Uh, eBay is different, well, you may guess. And we, um, <coughs> Google, Google Pay, Google Pay as well. Big money, yeah. Google, yeah. Google and Facebook are two of our biggest customers worldwide. But that's another point. In terms of uh, technical aspects, uh, the community server and the enterprise server is not different. I mean, they are exactly the same. So that, that's, his, that's not the real point. The main point is that, of course, we provide support and other tools with the subscription, with the MySQL enterprise subscriptions. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Um, ba Baidu, the Chinese people don't pay us either, as you could probably guess. <laughs> so um, where, where, where were we? Facebook apps, wasn't it? So you guys develop apps. Um, how many apps on Facebook? Or how many apps in November last year on Facebook? Okay, again, this pretty, it's lower than I thought it was going to be, actually, 20,000. Right. But So to give you an example, if, you, if you're looking at, say, fail fast, scale fast, um, a successful app I, I like. When it was launched, the day it launched, it grew at, you might as well do it, I won't make you guess, 20,000 users an hour, right, in the first day. Right. So a significant load on. And again, nice problem to have if you're in a web startup and you suddenly launch and go like that. So final, finally, uh, Facebook servers. You see how many, you've seen like kind of the load on that. Um, how many servers do you reckon they have to support their infrastructure? That's a good guess. But then you're a sysadmin, aren't you, by trade? And, yeah, okay. No? 3,000. So 1,500 was good. 1,800, right? Uh, and that's using replication, so not all of them are necessarily... Um, uh, unique, as it were. But um, uh, Memcache, anyone, everyone know Memcache? Do you want me to explain? Yeah, so Memcache is caching technology. Okay. That's probably an over a drink conversation. I don't want to otherwise bore you on We're caching. But Memcache, probably the world's largest installation of Memcache at Google, if you're that interested in Memcache, right, of 800 servers. <coughs> Finally, last question how many servers in total do you think Facebook run? 10,000. Hey, there we go. 10,000. If, if I had a free gift, you could have that. <laughs> um, so uh, that was what we wanted to talk about, really. In, in essence, they have significant scaling challenges. Uh, and with the, with the growth that they enjoy, um, it gets more challenging for them every day. And we help them uh, work in that, both in terms of architecture and caching and providing significant engineering and, and, and services resources to help them do that 